wanted to be organic, like that artist yeah. really fuck with me and da da da. I never wanted him to go and ask anybody to do a song with me or like, you know what I'm saying? Or them should just do a song. I would anyway, no, but but remember how I used to be like that? I used to like I never asked for any of the females to do a song with me, or whatever. I just was like show them love. You, you feel me? Like never even I never wanted one in the beginning and I never expected one. So I feel what you're saying, like, yo, it's iller. It's way ill iller when a person just hear you and see you grinding and see your movement. You understand? Yeah. Nah. Or they, or they I, just I, like it's true. Yo, and and it was at one point like on my come up, I ain't you know, I didn't, I didn't, I felt like being in the club, you know, I felt like if I wasn't booked or if I wasn't, you know, everybody got this jewelry and all this other stuff. And I felt like I had to work hard, you know what I'm saying? To stand next to folks. Like it is a competition. It's a, it's a hip hop is a competition, right? And the music industry is a competition. So when you walk in there, you want to feel just as good. And I felt like I just have to work 10 times harder. And, you know, even through the hate, nigga, I grinded through that shit still to this day, just grinding. And now look like we, Number one on iTunes, we over a million. Views. Can you girls stop? Can you, like, can you girls? Can you girls stop talking about hate? Y'all have y'all have never. Uh, listen, I promise you, every y'all have never experienced hate like the way this this guy right here, me, has experienced it. So don't wish for it. I'm telling you, what y'all have experienced is nothing. Y'all have just experienced some of the the growing pains of artistry and like right. uh, of of social media, like. Y'all be thinking y'all have experienced hate, and trust me, you ain't experienced it yet. Right. Okay. A lot of y'all have gotten really not coddled, but y'all have been pe people have been uh, nice. People have been like gentle with y'all. I think you know, and that's cool because who gives a shit? You know, um, when I when I felt that you were beating up on yourself, I spoke up for you because I just wanted you to be like, girl. This too shall pass. And I had no intention of doing a song. I didn't know we would end up doing a, a song. But I'm just saying, can people stop acting like y'all got it hard? Y'all don't know what the fuck it feel like to really have it hard in this industry, okay? No, look, but Nikki, look, I feel like, so look, when I say y'all, I feel like, honestly, I don't even want to be in the y'all category. And I say this with the most up respect. I have uh, of the most up respect for the female rappers. But in, in singers, female artists in general, because I don't really like to, like, I, I was watching on live, I don't want to say just female rappers, just female artists, right? I feel like I'm the type of, I'm just different. And I, I could really put myself in a different category than any other female when it comes to, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's why you kind of gravitated towards me, you know? Because look how, like, opposites attract, you know? You the Barbie and I'm the fucking... You know, and we standing next to each other in this video. You see how great it looks? Like I feel like, you know, so yeah. I do feel like I, I I do feel like I'm attracted to to people that maybe, you know, don't feel more like myself and in, in that I feel like I'm discovering something new, you know, like something unique. I guess that's like everybody wants to feel like they're discovering something special and something unique and something that they haven't been seeing seeing a lot. But at the same time, no matter what, if a bitch got bars, it's going to always catch my attention. You know what I'm saying? So right. even right. if the person, it doesn't matter how a person looks. If I, you know, talent is talent. Right. And there's been a lot of talent um, jumping out lately from, from different people. You know what I'm saying? But I do think you're, you're, you're right. Like, um, we are very, very opposite in a lot of ways. But, right. but I just loved a lot. Like, I just love a lot of your choices that you made on especially on Blick Blick, I was like, and then at the end of the verse, because I'm like, okay, the first four bars, everybody gives a good first four. A little melodic, okay, she's been hot, she has a nice, she has a nice tone. But but then when you got, when you got to the, well, I said, okay, uh, yep. So, you know, because then I was like, now this is my kind of bitch right here, you know, because kept on, kept on elevating it, you know what I'm saying? Um, and getting sassy and adding some flows and some flavors. Right. Um, and that's, and, and, and you want to, not to cut you off, but listen, right, this is why I feel about female rap, because I love female rap, but this is why you're, you're you, because the way you do it, and this is just, this is my opinion, like, you're, you're so authentic, and it's like, you, you know, you got rap, right? 
I don't know how to explain this, but you got people who like freestyle and do freestyle and shows, right? And shit like that. And then you got people who are on radio doing type of, it's different type of things, right? You can actually rap on anything and you know how to articulate it. It's like science to you and it still be rap. You know what I'm saying? And I got to give that to you because that is something that to where it just don't sound like, all right, like, yeah, it's just about bars too, but I feel like it's about bars. It's about cadence. It's about delivery. It's about, you know, melodies. It's about switch up, you know? And, and absolutely, that's what makes up like a top, you know? And I feel like, absolutely. yes, thank you. Thank you. Basically what, she, what, basically what she's saying is, you know, we don't want boring. We want, you know, the, the listener, the listener right now, right now in the world, they can go and hear their share of 85,000 billion quadrillion songs if they want to at the, at the touch of their fingertips, right? Right. So, so when they listen to you, they want to feel like, oh, she's keeping me interested. Right. She's not just going to say the whole same flow for the same, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> And like, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and also, and also, and I'm just being honest, but somebody told me, cause I did my little check. Cause I, I asked someone that I knew would have told me the truth. And they were like, oh no, she actually writes her, her own music. And I was like, no, she don't. And no, and, and, and they were like, nah, absolutely, absolutely. Without a shadow of doubt. So I was like, yeah, okay, sign me up, you know, because that's dope. I want girls to, to be proud of their fucking brain yeah. and know that, guess what? And you know what? Everything doesn't have to be perfect. Everything don't gotta be bar, bar, bar. But you know, um, I like your point of view. And that's, and women just need to know that, guess what? We wanna hear your point of view, period. Right. Like, and, um, you know, Drake joined us and one thing about him, like you were saying, he's able to do those different things like singing and not make it sound like you're listening to um, an, an R&B song per se. Cause the, you know, he's just always been able to change, change everything up that you don't know the choice he's gonna make. So it keeps you interested. Like where yeah. you about to go with this, you know? Right. Whether it's two two random singing lines in the middle of a, in the middle of a verse or like you know, right? It, it just I I like I like that and so I respect it and I appreciate it. So I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna say too much because I know we're gonna um we're gonna do a bigger conversation soon. I don't want to give it too much away, but I just wanted to tell you that I'm proud of you. And and thank you, thank you for thinking of me as well. I appreciate you, and keep on doing your thing. And let me just say this, okay? I I for the record, I didn't want if if it was up to me, I wouldn't I would have told Koi not to wear wigs and wigs in the video, but that ain't my motherfucking play. It's Koi, it's Koi, and she been wearing wigs, so I don't want nobody to think that I told Koi to wear no pink wig or I told Koi so to wear wait, wigs. So, so Listen, I'm I I love my Coyla Ray braids, but as a female, like come on, y'all not like ladies and gentlemen. Let's be real. I should be able to do switch up my hair. Like I look good in there. You gotta know I look good. So don't talk about why she wearing wigs. Let's talk about the fact that I look good in it because I love my <laughs> She's Coyla Ray braids. I signed the Coyla Ray braid, but damn, can I try something else? I just want to see if it look good. You know. So, ladies, Koi is still possibly looking for a girlfriend, possibly. Oh, my God. Not necessarily right now. She wants a boyfriend. But, but Koi, the thing is, a lot of girls are attracted to you. I what know. They you love me. They love me. I love the energy. Like, I could, I could, I still, it's still energy and still love. It's just, you know, it's not nothing sexual, you know? I don't want somebody to bend me over and break my shit. Like yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I, I not that man. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, I'm just saying. Um. So shout out to all of her fans that are attracted to her. I think that's cool. No, I'm not. I ain't no I'm talking about Nikki crushing. No, Nikki's not crushing on anything. Goodbyes. Have a seat for you get blunt. Um. 
Um, no, I'm talking and speaking in, in the perspective of her fans. You guys. They love me. Ladies love uh, Koi. Uh, girl, ain't nobody say all of that shit. Ladies love Koi. Um, are we <laughs> Yo, you're the best. You don't understand. Like, I want everybody to know who's listening here. Like, I swear to God, she's really the most dudes. Like, I don't even want to say, it. like, yo, you don't understand, Nikki. The fact that you're so genuine and you're a real person is so crazy because you're like a, you're a superstar. Like, you're an icon. Like, you're a legend. And I don't think people understand. And I want you to know that, like, you are in to be this humble and this genuine, to show me this much love, I appreciate this. I really, really do. And thank you so much because you've, like, really changed my life. I ain't never had no number one in my life, and this is crazy. Like, it's so, so many more to come. You're so freaking talented and versatile, and, and you are who you are. Oh, my God, I love that. I can't tell you how... Uh, well, that's for another show, child. You are... You know who you are, and I love... I love, oh, bitch, listen, let me tell you something. I love our conversations behind the scene, bitch, but don't text me at 4 o'clock in the morning, child. Because what if Papa, what if you was woke, woke up Papa Bear last night? I said, bitch, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was hoping, I'm sorry, because I had just got home, and I was just like, I don't even, I forgot what I even texted you. I'm sorry. I'm I, just, still, I said, ooh, if you was I'm a, anxious. The what? song was dropping last night. I, you know, I needed to make sure. Like, I, I'm what? anxious, girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm boy, sorry. if you was a boy, you would have got your ass cussed the fuck <laughs> Yeah, because I cuss guys out all the time. Like, you know, I cussed this one boy out recently. He's an artist, but we ended up doing a song together. I did, He knew I, I didn't mean any harm. He was okay. But, um... But yeah, I said, why is she more tough than me at 2 o'clock in the morning, bitch? What? I said, oh, this, this, the, yo, <laughs> listen, the song was dropping. The, the, the video was dropping. Like, I need, to, <laughs> I need to speak to you one last time. Like, that breath of air. Like, come on, Nikki. Come on. Let me just hear you. I need, to, I need you to sit me back real quick. And you did. You came through. Yes, ma'am. Well, listen, you did your motherfucking thing. You did your motherfucking thing whenever Lick. you bodied Lick. it. You bodied it. You bodied that. And for the record, um, No More Parties is but still my favorite song from you. And when is your album coming out? My album's dropping April 8th. April 8th? Yes, and it's going to be crazy. I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, Nikki, it's over. You don't got to worry no more. Like, I got you. You see my picture? April you see my shit with the Glock? I got you. You don't gotta worry. I got Why you. Why they didn't put our dance? We're going this blick blick the dance. See, I had it down pat. You gotta come to the house so we could do our little TikTok. You should have canceled today, but I was tired. I thought I was gonna go to sleep, but I then and then Fendi came over here, so I didn't go to sleep. But we gotta do it. We gotta do our little TikTok. And I'm gonna uh, do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm, we gonna. I'm call. Live. Come on. Call uh, me. I'm pulling up. Yeah. Fendi, open the door. Tomorrow, tomorrow or the following day, let's let's do that little cute part. But anyway, in the meantime, Barb's, I love you. I love you so fucking much. Trendsetters, you rock. Um, and we going and we gonna keep it popping. What everybody know the come up DVD is back on the map. Me and Fendi is here. Um, Champagne Poppy, I know you probably already dropped off because that's how you be doing the girl. But listen, me love your long blood crack time. You know, you understand. All right, got all right, Koi. Take care. All right, man. Not us. <laughs> we out of here. <laughs> you see, she tried to um flaunt the sneakers in my face one time before she left. Right again, uh -uh, that ain't right. Okay, y'all. Um, I will see you guys next time. And I saw you, um, Rico Diana. Um. All right, y'all, so don't forget...